P. Everoff Grid Solar Tutorial Series. Communicating with Charge Controller via your PC. In this course, we will learn about how to communicate with your solar charge controller via your PC. It is assumed that you've watched the previous course entitled How to Download and Install Solar Station Software and you already have the software installed on your PC. Requirements A battery Two pieces of wires Communication cable A screwdriver And a laptop or PC is needed. Typically, a 12 volts battery will turn the charge controller on. Two pieces of wires will connect the battery to the charge controller. The communication cable will be used for communicating real-time data. The cable that is used for communications is CCUSB, RS-485, 150, U. Please check our website for further information about the cables. Screwdriver will be used to plug the wires into the battery terminals. Turning the charge controller on. First, we should make sure that the charge controller is turned on. Connect the positive battery terminal to the charge controller terminal, marked Battery Plus, and connect the negative battery terminal to the charge controller terminal, marked Battery Minus. Tighten the screws, and make sure the LCD is turned on. Now the controller is on, and you can check the solar input, battery, and load parameters. Connecting the communication cable. Connect the network cable to RS-485 port in charge controller. Connect the USB plug of the communication cable to your PC or laptop. Installing the driver. Now that the charge controller is turned on and the communication cable is plugged in, open the installation folder in your PC. From the PC Tools folder, open the USB driver folder. Right-click on Setup.bat file and choose Run as Administrator. The setup will automatically install the communication cable driver into your PC. And now we expect to find the device in our device manager. Ports com and LPT. Right-click on the device and navigate to Properties. Navigate to the Port Setting tab. Check your cable label. If it is CCUSB, RS-485, 150U, you will need to check RS-485 box in this window. Otherwise, leave it unchecked. You can check the physical label on the cable to make sure about it. Here. My cable label is CCUSB, RS-485, 150U, so I need to check this option. By pressing the advanced button, you can make sure about the COM port number of your device. Here my port is COM3. It's not necessarily the same as in your system. Just remember the port number you see here. Cancel the dialog box and open the solar station software. Open the Port Config menu, and choose Port Configuration. If the port number mentioned here, is not the same as what you remember from the Device Manager, make the necessary changes, and press Add button. You will find the port on your list. Close the dialog. Open the System menu, and choose Add Station. By adding a station, we are introducing a new off-grid system to the software. 
At this menu, you can define the parameters of the station. Make sure you're defining the correct port from controller tab. Click Add button when you are finished with the parameters. Now we can find the station here. The station is successfully added to the system, and you can now communicate with the charge controller. Click Start Monitoring. You are all set now, and you can get real-time data from your charge controller. In next courses, we will learn more about how to configure the charge controller with Solar Station software.